guys and welcome to the vlog there's finally a vlog <laughs> so yesterday was 70 what 74 74 degrees no wind which never happens here in oklahoma so it was gorgeous it is currently 37 and snowing <laughs> Speak. Chase has on a stocking cap. It's so cold. Because I had and, to go outside and cover up all the plants. And I literally got sweaty yesterday, like cleaning up the patio, like sweeping it. And I was wearing shorts on the bike ride with Savannah. Yeah. So, and of course, the day it's snowing, we have about five bajillion errands to run. So I've had to like come to, I'm not the stay at home mom I once was. Like it's been a process because I was that mom that. If something had to get done, it got done months before. Like if I got an email and we needed tap shoes before the recital, I had them at the beginning of the season. Now she has pictures in a few days and she doesn't have her tap shoes for it. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's too late to order. And even if I order, I order the wrong size every time because dance shoes are so hard. If you're a dance mom, can I get an amen? Because you cannot order dance shoes online. Yeah. Or if you can, tell me the trick because I'll order four pairs of dance shoes and I have to send all four back. Yeah. They run like two sizes off and we always get it wrong which and, way. And every company is different. Yeah. But when we go on to Tulsa, they're just more expensive because you have to go to like the dance store. But I'm going to see if they have like an off brand. <laughs> and I think they do because I'm not even 100% she's taking tap next year. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting all into this. But basically, we have errands to run and we're out and about. It's snowing. <laughs> Welcome to Oklahoma. <laughs> but I wanted to let you guys know, like I talk about this over on Instagram, but if you don't follow me over there, don't have an account, you don't know. But it's just been really hard to vlog lately because we're not doing as much. Like ever since COVID happened, like we don't go out as much and we normally go out one day a week and that's normally like Chase and I's like day day and I just don't want to vlog that day. Like that's supposedly my day off and um, I guess because the wreck yeah. got put there. Okay, yeah, so there was awesome. a wreck right here at this four-way stop. Ooh, Let me turn the camera around. So a really bad wreck happened here, and it is. It's so hard out here on country roads because normally that's not flashing. And I don't know that this was always a four-way stop. I think it, it was oh, it wasn't. It was two-way, so we didn't have to stop here. Well, bad wreck happened, and like they went through this person's yard. You can kind of see the fence is taken down. So now they've added flashing lights and they're making it a four-way stop, which is better because out here, sometimes there's a four-way stop and sometimes there's not. So I'm always like trying to like remember, I mean, obviously I'm looking for the signs, but it's just better like make a four-way stop the whole way. So we all know everybody stops. There's the speed bumps. They did it there and then added speed bumps because everybody that lives out here has never had to stop at that. Hmm. We always go this direction because you don't have to stop for four miles. You can go right. down this road and never have to stop for four miles and now we've got that stop sign, but it's safer for sure. Yeah. Fine. So anyways, back to what I was saying. What was I saying? What were you saying? So do you know what I was talking about before the stop sign? I don't remember. I'll we'll have to go back and look. <laughs> There's a lot going on. So much going on. So, oh, I was talking about Instagram. So I let people know, like, we're just not vlogging much because we're not getting out much. And I don't want to like put up a video that's just like putting up a video. Like I vlogged for two weeks ago and it was literally Chase and I complaining about the wind every time I picked up the camera. Like I went to edit it and we were just like an old married couple like complaining about the wind. Yeah. <laughs> so windy it was boring. Outside. It was boring. So I don't want to put up a boring vlog. So. I'm gonna try my best to do every Friday, but if you don't see one, don't be alarmed. It's just, we did nothing interesting for you guys to watch. Exactly. That's all I can say. Um, so yeah, we're headed in. We're gonna eat lunch. We have to stop by Academy in Owasso. We gotta go to Tulsa to the black and white store. I try to say where we're going and like the cities because every time I run into one of you, um, you guys are always like, oh, I love hearing like, oh, you're in Tulsa because you guys are in Tulsa or that you guys know that's close to you. We ran into somebody, um, if you're watching, hello, um, at Savannah's dance competition this past weekend in Arkansas. And she was like, I thought I was gonna have to come to like the gathering place in Oklahoma to meet you. And she was, I guess, there with her daughter as well. So we got to meet somebody there. That's fine. But let's go ahead and eat before I talk anymore because I'm a little bit hungry. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so we are out of the dance store. It's like really coming down now. And of course, I just washed my hair. I hate washing my hair on like, well, rainy day, much less snowy and sleeting day. Um, but just so you know, they had cheaper tap shoes. So they're still a little pricey, but they were half the price of like the black ones we just bought. I think the last time we were here buying them, I was vlogging. So yeah, we got pink tights, the right brand. We got tap shoes, the right size. So I feel like a better mom. <laughs> everything is so like I don't know you don't get to be the like efficient stay-at-home mom when you work all the time so I'm just glad things are getting done now where are we headed oh so we're gonna go is it to the to toy store yes Savannah I'm sure if any of you guys have kids right now they're all into I was gonna say gadgets but she gets mad at me fidgets she's into yeah. fidgets so we've done a lot of like ordering on Amazon but one of her friends um, found a store it's like a learning toy store in Tulsa and they sell them there so she can like see them first so we're gonna head that way and there's also a home goods right there so we'll go to the toy store for the kids if you're watching <laughs> we'll go to the home store for the moms that are watching and i don't think we're going to any guy stores so if the nope. husbands are watching this one sorry you're with me guys they sorry. only got the trick shot at the beginning if you put one there <laughs> oh yeah i need to do one i guess yeah or well yeah i guess the one i shared on instagram we never technically put on youtube so, so we could put it on this we one. could probably put it on this yeah. one because there's a lot of you that probably watch youtube but not instagram yeah i'm catching on to that so oh and what else we ordered her a dance bag so there's just so much with dance it's all like i was a cheerleader so this is a whole new world but there's like a dance ball bag and talk about fidgets and gadgets and all that. like it's got so much i didn't realize they had it here for the same price so i could have actually bought it in the store yeah who knew but i think it's supposed to arrive today so if it does i'll open it up on camera just if you guys want to see what these bags can do it's pretty amazing <laughs> it's pretty cool so okay we're gonna head on to the toy store now Okay, I completely forgot to vlog in the toy store, but I'll show you what we got when we're done. But now we're gonna head into Home Goods. But she was super excited. Are you sad leaving all your fidgets? Yes. <laughs> we'll have to show them when we get home. Oh, yes. Oh, show them the one you've got in your hand. Oh, I got a dough ball. A dough ball. And I was so shocked. We were actually like already paying, and then I saw it, and I was like, add this in. That's pretty cool. She did, she threw it in her cart like right at the end. She had all her money she's been saving and she bought all her own fidgets. Yes. <laughs> she's good with money. <laughs> she's trying to kill like a mayfly in the back of the car. Did you get it? No. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so we left Home Goods. We weren't there really long because a product just released and I wanted to share it on Instagram. So we like ran through. But once we get home, I'll show you a Home Goods haul and Savvy will show you a fidget haul. Um, but I've been waiting, dying for this to be released because I've been wanting to share it with you guys. This is like not a sponsor. Um, but you guys know I love Jaws, surprise, surprise, I know. Well, you constantly ask me all the time, like what do I use as the all-purpose cleaner? And I've always said like, you know, the window one or the wood one, they actually just released a multi-purpose cleaner and it's pink. Can you see that? Is that not a little piece of heaven right here? <laughs> like, this should not make me as happy as it does, but the fact that it's a multi-purpose cleaner with Jaws, not toxic, and then they made it pink. And to send it over the edge, it's a lavender scent. So, I'm gonna leave this link down below my description box. If you use Ashley 25, you'll get 25% off. Mine's ordered and on the way. Uh, so I'll let you guys know what I think, but let me just tell you now, I love it. <laughs> like, I know I'm gonna love it, so get yours. This is the time that like, if you've been waiting to buy because you didn't know which one to buy, it's the all-purpose cleaner. So get it. You can use it anywhere, everywhere. Perfect. And I think I heard them say they were going to have the pink cloth I think too, so. right? Yeah, I need to look that up. If yeah. it is, I'll leave that link down below as well. Because you have to have the pink rag to go with the pink bottle. I might just clean even more now. Exactly. So. Okay, we're headed home. It looks like it's kind of stopped snowing or sleeting for the meantime. It's supposed to be done for the day now. Okay, and it's not like sticking because it's been warm here. But once we get home, I'll share that haul with you guys. Chase just said it was done raining, and it's raining. 
In Collinsville. <laughs> we're still in Tulsa. In Collinsville, it's done. Oh, we're sitting here. It'll be, all look at that. It's bright, sunny skies north where we are. True. We live out like <laughs> this way. <laughs> it's weird how it can change so drastically from within 15 miles. It's crazy. Okay, guys, we're sitting here getting Starbucks by we, Savannah and Chase, but they're putting in a new building over here. I'm going to zoom in on this sign. The workers put send coffee we cold. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> They're in there working. How funny is that? Send coffee. They should totally send coffee over there. We need to tell them at the window. <laughs> okay, everybody's gonna want to know your order. What did you get? Tall cafe vanilla frappuccino. And then Savvy got something different this time. I have no idea. <laughs> it's like a iced white chocolate mocha is what it is. And it, what do you think? It is amazing. I'm gonna use this every single time. She loves iced coffee. So yeah, is it like an iced coffee? Is that what it is? Except it's like it's not as for some reason, it's not as cold, and I can just like taste the vanilla, and it's like so good. So is okay. it better than your frappe? You know, oh, like yes. It? Oh, like, yes. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a hundred out of ten. Oh, Whoa. okay. You you, you people points. heard it first. Yeah. <laughs> it's heard a, it first from It's a hundred out of ten. Okay, now we're actually going to head home. And Chase was right. We're more in Collinsville now. We're like snow in Owasso, but it's not raining here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Weatherman Chase. Yes. Only for Collinsville, though. That's right. Tulsa. Only for Collinsville. <laughs> Okay, so we're still driving home, but I thought of something, and if I don't talk about it now, I'm gonna forget. But this morning, so you guys know, I prefer my Amazon lashes over Red Aspen, like hands down. Um, if you're gonna buy lashes, go cheaper, go Amazon, I'll have them linked. But this morning, I thought I would do it different. So I've started putting them on. Typically, I put the glue on my eyelid and then stick the lash on. I've been putting it on the lash itself because the glue keeps getting in my eyelashes and it's driving me crazy. But today I put, so my normal glue that I get off Amazon and like Walmart and stuff on this eye. And then I did use my Red Aspen lash glue on this side. So I'm gonna see which one holds up. This one's black and dries black. This one's white and dries clear. So I'll let you guys know in a couple days or over on Instagram or my next vlog, whenever that's gonna be. Um, sorry, it keeps going blurry, but I thought I would test it out just to see if maybe it's a better glue um, And just how it does with my eyes. So oh and speaking of red aspen, they just dropped didn't they? Yeah Okay, so a lot of you have been asking me like because you guys know I love the red aspen toe dashes I swear if you don't want to have to paint your toes all the time mine last at least three weeks if not a month um, And you just glue the toenails on and then you clip them like you would clip your nails and file to shape them and they like disappeared off the side. You guys kept asking me where they were. I don't know, they don't tell me things. Well, they said they cleared those out to make way for new ones. Oh, they tell Chase things. They, they don't tell, tell me. Anything. I got a direct line with them. They told me. So apparently they told Chase, but not me. So they did what? They got, they took away all of their old ones uh -huh. to make way for the new ones for summer. But what's funny is the wider back anyways. They anyways, are. they brought some of the ones back before and a new one. So they have like soft pinks and mauves and bright corals. Anyways, there's all different colors. Um, so I'll have that link down below as well. We're gonna be all linked up in today's video. But if you need toenails, nails, cleaner, I'm your girl. If you want any information about Red Aspen, talk to this guy, because yeah. they don't <laughs> tell me anything. I'll, I'll hook you up. I know the business side. Apparently I need to ask him more before I get on here. Yeah, level up those toes. <laughs> yes, level up your toes. Okay, we're gonna show you a quick little haul. Basically, Savannah needed pink tights. Who knew there were so many different pink tights, but they we found the brands. We thought we got the right ones. These are her tap shoes she needs for her recital. Um, this is ballet, this is tap. And then I picked up, I had bought these towels last time I was there and I loved them. They are like super thick and good. So since I was back at that Home Goods, I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, my steamer had gotten really moldy for some reason and these are only $12.99. I love this over ironing. So if you haven't made the switch, try it out. Plus with Savannah's dance costumes, it's good to keep in your bag apparently. <laughs> so if her dresses get wrinkled at all. And then I was short a stool um, for our pantry. I had to keep grabbing the laundry room one. This is only $7.99. And since it was black and white, I went ahead and grabbed it. Sorry, it's a little blurry. And then Savannah, let's talk. What did you get? I got tons of fidgets and I'll show them. Okay. So I got all these poppets. So these are, are called poppets. Yes, and I got all these and I was like, I didn't think they were gonna have them and mommy was like, look, and I just started like freaking out. I was so overwhelmed. So if like aunts and grandparents are watching 
and kids are around your age, so they'll love this stuff, right? Yes. And they have more like boy ones, so they have like boy colors. Yeah, they have like ones that like are like shaped as like Nintendo Switch and stuff. And yeah. these are made, and you just pop. I like I can't really do it they through the plastic. In. Yeah. But you just pop, push them in, and then you flip it and do it on the and other yeah, side. Yeah. For some reason, it's just so awesome. So I already showed you this. Yeah, you already and saw that. These are called marble meshes, and they have a marble inside, and you just kind of play back and forth with them, and it's so fun. I already have like three of these, but. This is one of those things you can have like so many and it's just like awesome. And so as you guys can tell, it's just like fidget because you're fidgeting with it. Yeah. And then... And then I got mochis and they're just like these little soft things. This one goes in the dark, but you can just kind of like squeeze them and I'll open them later. And then these are called like gumballs and then like it was like buy two get one free, free. Like, so yeah awesome. you got all of them and i just got all these things. now you can buy these on amazon too like we bought her a box of them so you can buy yeah. them individually but it's cheaper to buy like a tub of them and just get tons of different things but yeah if you guys need a gift idea for like Boy, are boys into these too, or is it just a girl yes. thing? Okay. Yes. Boys are. So they like to trade them and do all sorts of things. Yes. So there's your little tip if you guys need help buying gifts for somebody. <laughs> okay. And then Chase brought this in. I had ordered this a week or so ago. It's from a Laura, Lauren, Laura. I don't know. I'll have to tag her. Somebody off of Instagram that I like to follow now. And um, she was talking about this is the best tanning lotion. So I have, oh gosh, what do I use? I'll have to think about what I use. It's like what everybody else uses. Um, I'll have to go look. But basically it goes on really pretty, but I don't like the way it comes off. Like it comes off really like splotchy. So she was talking about how much she loves this and it goes on clear, it's beautiful and it fades really well. And she had a coupon code. So I went ahead and got the set, but I'm really excited to try this out just to see if it works really well. Cause you know how hard it is to find a good tanner. Now, once it gets warm outside, I won't need this, but you know, we're here in it's almost May <laughs> and it's snowing. So I'm clearly not going to get any sun out there and I'm just ready to get a tan. So I'll try this soon and let you guys know. Okay. So we're getting ready for dance pictures. If you are a dance mom, just look away. <laughs> because I am not organized at all. I have everything in here. I've just thrown this. I'm going to order like a makeup case because like a makeup bag doesn't help with it all thrown in. I need like dividers so I know what I'm grabbing, but we're getting her ready in this costume. So I'll show you when we're done, but whoever decided that dancers needed to wear bright red lipstick that doesn't come off is horrible isn't it? Oh yes. It takes us so long to get it right. Like if we put it on and then we use concealer to adjust it, but it shows every flaw. But you look beautiful. Yeah, you look beautiful. And here's her hair. Yes. It's looking good. We'll get her dressed and then I'll show you the costume she's in for tonight. Okay, this just arrived. So all you dance moms that were cringing just five seconds ago with my dance bag and stuff everywhere, it's about to get a little better. <laughs> so we ordered this bag. We ordered some other accessories, but they haven't come in yet. But this is what dance, so if you're new to the dance world like me, or you have boys or grandsons, basically they have these bags now. So you pack everything in your bag and then these rods pop up and you add this rod and then you add the curtain. So like we would stand up against the wall and then Savannah could change behind there. Cause if they're doing tons of dances, sometimes you're in rooms with tons of girls like that aren't even from your studio. And some girls are more modest and Savannah's one of those. I was always modest. Um, so she can go and like I said, we'd have this pushed up kind of against the wall or in the corner and she can get dressed behind it. Um, we have like a mirror that folds down. So it's gonna be like a full length mirror and it has lights on it. You can do those copies that you put in your closet for like shoes to keep all their dance shoes in it. She'll hang all her dresses from there. Is it like mind blowing? I know dance moms are like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's our life. But for people that are like non-dance life, this is, I mean, this is amazing. <laughs> so it took me a little bit to set it up because Chase can't help me because I have to go back there by myself. So I was like, no, you can't do it. I'm going to have to, I'm going to practice this over and over before the next competition because I want to walk in and I don't want to be a complete newbie. Like I'm a newbie anyways, but I want to look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> So I'm going to practice this all every day. I'm going to pull it out and set it up to make sure I do it right. And like the bags do come in different colors, but I asked over on Instagram for moms to help me. Like, what did I need to know? Because I told Savannah when we bought this, this is making it through her senior year unless it like breaks. But they said to go neutral because if we did like pink or frilly or something, she might outgrow it. 
all honesty, it's gonna be me lugging this thing around. I don't know that she will. It'll be me taking it into the rooms and changing her, but that's it. Just in case you're wondering, or if you're a dance mom and we're just needing one. I haven't like used it, used it yet, so I don't know how it holds up, but it shipped super fast. Most of the companies were like out of stock for a while. This came fast, and like I said, all the pieces aren't with it, but I think they just send those as they come in. But now we can hide behind the curtain. <laughs> Let me go to this side. The things people come up with, but I think this was a huge game changer for no. girls that don't want to change in front of like just, um, you know, tons and tons of people in no open spaces. So there it is. I'll show you the title right there, just in case if you guys are looking for one. Okay, and I wanted to show you her and her costume. Yes. This is for her jazz comp. So yes. she has to do this, and then Thursday night she has to wear two different costumes and two different hairstyles. So we'll be a little bit busier that night. At least tonight it's just one. Yes. <laughs> Are you sick of wearing makeup though? Yes, I am. She's had it on like three days in a row because of competition and then photos, and you still have it a few more nights. So yes. she's not a makeup fan to be a girl. But it's like stage makeup too. It's because there's yes. like... It's very, it's very bright. <laughs> You look pretty though. Okay, we are about to run out of this house. We have to leave here in just a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and end this here because we have like photos and dinner and I don't know, the evenings get crazy and it gets dark out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad there was a vlog this week. I'll try to vlog more, but like I said, it's just hard when we're not like going anywhere or doing anything. But you guys have an amazing week. Do not miss Sunday's video. It's gonna be the patio makeover part two and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.